I'm Adam here with JR. And we're back with another Bulls unboxing. Today, we are looking at Iron Skulls, boys. Yes, this is another expansion for Warhammer Shadespire. Uh, these are obviously the orcs, 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 orcs. orcs, orcs. Yes. There's and the they are, box. Uh, fittingly, they are green. Uh, what? Get out of here. <laughs> they are the meanest, toughest orcs in all of Shadespire. It's true. They may be the only ones in Shadespire. They may have gotten trapped Shadespire. there yeah. and have killed the other ones. I don't know how. <laughs> but it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, we've got one of the expansions here. Uh, this box contains uh, all the decks of cards you'll need to play them. All and the minis you'll them. need to play them. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool stuff. Really, the only thing not in here is like dice. Uh, or board. board, yeah. yeah. Um, but if you have the main game, uh, you're ready to go there. Yeah. Uh, Jared, would you like to do the honors today? I'll do the honors. It's got There's a sticker. No plastic wrap, but they do have a sticker. Let's see if I can do this. Just don't cut yourself like I did. Surgical precision. Uh, Boom. All right. We done did it. Uh, ah, yeah. orcs. Ooh, it is not. Uh, not as bright a green as I was led to believe. Well, uh, yeah, it's the same. Actually, this looks like the same type of green they used for a blood bowl. Yeah, it does. So huh. that's the orcs. Screw. Cool. There's, two, There's sprues. two sprues. We'll come back to those. I'm going to move yep. to the side. We've got the box? your uh, instruction and assembly guide here, which tells you how to put these boys together. See, there you go. Four boys. Super easy. Uh, all of the models in Shade Spire are kind of... Um, Semi snap fit, but not. Yeah, they're they're easy to build, um, but highly detailed. You've got you don't want to use glue for sure. You've got your uh, normal character deck, uh, and then you've got your extra card deck as well. Why don't you open that one up, and uh, we'll take a look at these cards real quick. Yep, that one's got all the characters in it. Yes. Uh, so first off, as you noticed, probably there are four orc characters. We've got uh, Gerzag Iron Skull. We've got Haka. We've got Bone Cutter, and we've got Basha. Cool. Kind of get a feel for what each one does. Let me rearrange these so we can see them a little bit easier. I bet Hacka's got an axe. What? And I bet Smasha, Basha has some maces. Uh, you get a good feel. Uh, these no, guys are beefy. Sword. No, it's an axe. I just want to point that out. They yeah, all they have are. armor, so they each, each get one armor die. They move three. Uh, but each guy has at least four hit points, oh, with geez. Iron Skull having five, which is really impressive. And it's good because uh, they get inspired when they take damage. Yeah, so that's their thing, is like, if you hit them and don't kill them, they go Super Saiyan. Ooh. Oh, wow, yeah, they do. Because, like, yeah. he... Uh, it's bad times. It is bad times. <laughs> yeah, he just, he gets a lot more. Well, his... um. His, his actually Gerzag's stats don't really change all that much, um, but his ability does. Yeah. So he gets uh, he gets a reroll when he makes an attack. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's real good actually. Uh, and you, yeah, you get the idea here. Uh, the orcs, pretty beefy, a lot of armor, uh, not terribly fast, but really you don't need to be that fast. Uh, and with uh, four activations around, four orcs. I'm not saying. It's simple. Point, I just want to point it out. Actually, you know what? Uh, so the Stormcast Eternals have three guys. Mm -hmm. The uh, Orcs have four guys. The Blood Reavers have five guys, and the Undead have seven guys. We're, we're missing a number. I are we? Are we? I wonder if we're gonna see more. Uh, here are the glory cards, real quick. Uh, we've seen similar things. These are the Orc specific ones. We've got our Iron. Biggest and the best, call the log. You get the idea. If you complete these objectives, that's the how many glory points you get, and you can spend those for upgrades. Uh, there's some generic ones, and a lot of these look different or new. So like that one's geared for war. I think that one's new, but yeah, uh, you score points to win the game. So that's Absolutely. important. And then JR, what do you have? I have the deck of extra cards. These are have a lot of generic things for everyone. So we've got. Uh, you'll notice a familiar face there. You'll notice a familiar face there. Uh, we've got some parrying, some robberies, distraction. These are all kind of different action cards that you can just generically put in your deck. And I like that they feature characters from the various factions in them. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and flip through these till we get... What, is, what are the... Oh, I guess that's 
for orcs only. Mm -hmm. And we have some upgrades for everyone. Cursed artifacts, legendary swiftness, different ways to customize your guys. Yeah, uh, well, speaking, of, speaking of customization, uh, there's these extra cards too that were in the other pack of cards. So yeah, again, these are the orc specific upgrades uh, that go on specific orcs. So Art Ed can go to Haka or Basher. Uh, Hacker can get Aspiring Boss, things like that, to make them better as the game progresses. So, Brutal Swing. Well, what's great about all these cards, uh, some, you know, the generic cards you can mix with any Warband, the Orc-specific ones, you can customize your Warband to play how you want to play them, mm -hmm. uh, however you want the old Iron Skull Boys to, to roll. They will become your Iron Skull Boys Absolutely. and nobody else. So, all right, that said, let's take a look at these minis, which I know everybody has been super pumped about. We've got two sets. Oh, wow, these guys look amazing. So we're gonna look at this one first. Look at the detail on them. Like, you can really see he's got some kind of gross fur on <laughs> his on his cloak. Like, it just looks uh, yeah, vibrant. What's crazy to me, too, is these orcs uh, look like black orcs yeah. from uh, many moons ago, the black orc kit. However, uh, the, 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 the poses are much different than yeah, they're, the traditional black orc kid. They're super dynamic. Yeah. Like, this guy's got a giant two-handed axe ready to go. This guy's raising his axe up high. Yeah, and what's, um, what's interesting, too, is these weapons are very orky. Like, yeah. This axe doesn't have, like, a curve to it. It looks like <laughs> he took a sheet of metal, and cut, made... out, cut it out, and sharpened the tips. Yep. And then attached this to a stick, and now he's trying to hit you over the head with it, which is pretty orky. This one has, like, an orc jaw skull thing yeah. on it an icon of pain uh-huh so yeah these guys are super cool but again they, they they remind me of the black orcs just way more dynamic there's the flip side you can see there's pegs to help you guide uh when you're assembling these you can probably put these together without glue we would suggest using glue so that yeah. they don't fall apart afterwards they are easy to build though yeah. uh let's take a look at the other sprue and here's the Ooh. second sprue Again. That one looks real nice. I like the detail on their armor, especially. Oh yeah, you can see the chainmail, uh, all the little divots and cracks and all scratches. All the places where like some of the rings are missing because these guys have been in some scraps. Oh yeah. Again, those weapons are very uh, evocative of of the black orcs, which these guys totally look like. Yeah. Um, so those kits, very. I built more than a couple black orcs back in the day. Put it that way. So I recognize a lot of what these weapons uh, came from. Well, and it's it's nice to see them get kind of the, the update with GW's yeah. modern sculpting because they've really been honing their game and are uh, uh, able to provide like, movement and character yeah. in, in a tiny little screw here. Now, again, these are only four models. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all single pose. Right. But you only need four models for the Warband, and they're all specific characters as well. So it fits, and it's totally appropriate uh, for this game. Of which you can probably move these over to the, the big table if you really wanted to. Yeah. Uh, nobody's going to stop you there. You can just use them for generic boys or, you know, uh, maybe maybe a war boss. I don't know. Whatever cool. you want to do. Uh, but that's everything in the box for good old Iron Skulls boys for Shadespire. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it too. Um, I was debating debating on which faction I wanted to go with. Yeah. I, I'm going to... Blood Reavers or it works. You know, I'm thinking about it. I don't yeah, know. That's a, that's a tough call. Whichever one, because uh, they, they both kind of really feel the sense of bloodlust. Yeah, I, I, when I play these games, I, I know there's objectives, but I really just want to punch the other guy in the face. It's true. I mean, JR's seen them both. I've, think about I've it. seen it happen. Yeah. I've never actually punched anybody in the face across the table from me, but on the tabletop, they have they gotten have, model yeah. punched. Uh, <laughs> and not just with other models, just sometimes it is like, bam! Payback! Uh, uh, at any rate, <laughs> I'm JR. I'm Adam Harry. That was Iron Skulls, boys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>